Hi guys, it's Tracy and today I'm back with another basket of empties. So the basket was getting full. I decided it was time. We might as well go through my trash so I can dump it all out. Um, I just usually wait till my bin gets full and then I'll go through it and you know, so I don't really, I don't do this monthly because I don't have this much every month. Mister is here to say hello. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. I hope you like the video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're a returning watcher, welcome back. So let's look and see what I have as far as my trash. First thing here is the Redken Frizz Dismiss Rebel Tame. So I need that with the curly hair and this worked really good. You just put it in when you like get out of the shower and it's like a leave-in conditioner and it's really nice and I would buy that again. And I have a package of the Bolero Coconut Cream and Vanilla Face Wipes, makeup removers. I just usually use these like for taking off makeup off my hands, swatches, cleaning up the edges of my eyes or whatever. I don't use it like as my sole form of removing makeup. And then I have this coconut and cream Coconut Cream and Vanilla Hand Wash. This is by Bolero as well. This was from the dollar store. Like I wouldn't buy this again. It's too kind of watered down and it didn't really have a smell to it. The face wipe smelled really good, but the other, the hand wash didn't really have much of a smell. Uh, let's see, this is the Dove Dry Spray in the original scent, 48 hour antiperspirant. I used it, I like it. Probably not going to repurchase that particular one. I do want to try to switch over to an aluminum free um, deodorant if I can. So I'm gonna be looking on, on the hunt for one. If you have any recommendations, let me know. I'm not like a sweater, so I just usually use it just because I've been using deodorant like forever. So. I don't like have that problem. I don't sweat or get really body odor. So it doesn't have to be like a strong one. So if you guys have any suggestions, even if it is a strong one, let me know. Cause my daughter is always on the hunt for one as well. So next up here, we have the Garnier Fructis Curls Construct Creation Mousse. Now, I don't know what the Creation Mousse is supposed to be. It just says weightless curls extreme strong extra strong hold and um i like this i got it like with the coupon it was like 50 cents and it's nice it worked it kept my curls together so if i could get it on a sale or a bargain i probably would buy it again next up here we have the top care triple size cotton balls use those for makeup remo or not makeup uh, nail polish removing mostly and then we have one of my Country Life Maxi Skin Collagen C and A. It's a supplement, a pill I started taking. It's been a while now. I guess I should look at the pictures and see if we see any difference. Then I have this. Uh, this is by Andalou Naturals. This is their Turmeric and C Enlighten Serum. And I just use this at night. And it filled feels good on the skin when you put it on. Um, I got it at my local discount store for like $3. I think it's like $25 on Ulta's website, but it was nice. I, I don't really, it says brightening. I like, I don't know if my skin is brighter. Maybe it is. I, maybe it's Maybelline. I don't know. If my skin looks brighter, let me know. So I would repurchase this if I find it at my discount store. And then next up here, we have the Matrix Total Results Miracle Creator 20 in one, 20 Benefits in One Leave-In Spray Conditioner. This is my holy grail. This is the one I always, always go back to. It is amazing. I've used it where I've just put this in my hair and left my hair and my hair actually had definition in the curls and it looked awesome. So I love that stuff and you can get it I, probably at Ulta. Uh, let's see, an e.l.f., what is this? Makeup and Mist, uh, Makeup, Mist, and Set. This is just, um, I think, the original one. And I just used it for spraying brushes for foiling eyeshadows. 
uh, let's see, we have a Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula Lip Balm. This was just okay. I wouldn't repurchase it. It wasn't anything special. Uh, I have a Wonder Brow. This has just lived its life. It's kind of gunky now. And I, I, I liked it when I first got it. But then it was like, ugh, it's such a pain. You have to get really precise and it just takes longer to do your brows. And it was good at first. And it does, your brows stay on for like a couple days. They do. But this is like $30. It might be cheaper now. But when I bought it, it was, I think it was like $29.99. And um, I liked it at first, but I just prefer a pencil now. But it does work and it does keep your brows on. Uh, let's see. Oh, my last one of the Bath and Body Works Lavender and Sandalwood. This is a body wash. This stuff smells so good. I love this scent and it's discontinued. So can't get it anymore. Let's see. We have a few more wipes to get out of the way. These are all from Bolero. They're all from the Dollar Tree. I have the Hibiscus and Pink Clay. I have the lavender and chamomile and the English rose blossom. So those are all from Dollar Tree. They're a dollar. Yes, I would repurchase. And while we're see vitamins, I have my calcium. This is the Citricol Maximum plus D3. I would definitely repurchase that. I do already have one actually. And then I have these uh, One A Day Women's Nature's Medley Multivitamins. And I picked these up at my discount store. They were $2, so really good deal. These were good, they tasted good, they were fine. If I see them again, I'll pick them up. Oh, another one of my Maxi Skin Collagen. Another thing of face wipes. These are the Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes from Basic Beauty, B-A-Z-I-C. And you get 40 in here, and these were really nicely saturated. And I picked these up at the 99 cent only store. And these were really nice. I would buy them again if I see them. Like I said, you get 40 and they are very, you know, there's enough product on them. And then I have a pack of the Assured Cotton Rounds, 100% pure cotton. These are from the Dollar Tree. I'd buy them again if I need them. I'll grab them. Depends on if I'm around the Dollar Tree. If I'm not, I'll just pick them up wherever. And I have a thing of the reusable, the ones that you wash. I have a thing of those in my cart on Amazon. So I'm probably gonna be buying those soon too. So if you guys use any of those or you wanna see me review them, let me know. Next up here, we have the Victoria's Secret Electric Beach Fragrance Body Lotion. This smells really good. I'm not sure, I think it's probably a limited edition. I have the body spray that goes with it, but I used up the lotion much quicker. This is the Pons Pollution Out Plus Purity Facial Foam. This is a definite no-go. I, I used some of it, but oh my God, this strips your skin. I mean, even if you're oily, I, I mean, it just takes everything off and it leaves your fin, your fin. Yeah, my fin, it leaves my fin. It leaves your skin feeling super tight and just like squeaky. And that's not a feel or whatever that I want on my face. So that is a no. Oh, actually I had two of the Andalou Naturals Enlightened Serum. So I went through two of them. I don't know. I have one of my Colgate Icy Blast toothpastes and I have this NCLA treatment. It's called So Rich. It was a nail oil and I used it all up. It was good. Um, it's really expensive though. I think it's like $18 so I, I wouldn't buy it but I got it in a boxy charm. So it was nice. I put it on my nails like every night before I would go to bed and it was fine. And then I have uh, Badger Cuticle Care. This is like one of the little tins. You can find this at Sprouts or probably Whole Foods. This works really nice. Um, like I said, it's just a thing I put on like before I go to bed and that one works good. This is a Walgreens, one of the like knockoff. It's the Walgreens brand of the EOS 
and this was supposed to be watermelon but the smell was just not it wasn't I, I didn't want it on my lips <laughs> let's just say that so that's a no no for me then we have the Trustique mascara that we got in a BoxyCharm. Um, I definitely would not buy this. Um, if they, I think maybe if they rethought their packaging and got rid of this like half lash curler and got the bulk of it down like to a regular size mascara, the, the formula wasn't bad. I mean, it made my lashes look good. So, um, I, I just the packaging and it's so bulky and then like I never use this part so you're trying to unscrew and you know you've got the the wand that's kind of like the better than sex and like I said the formula is not bad it you know it made my lashes dark it made them black like today I have on the Tarte Big Ego mascara and it's a nice mascara oh yeah and on my face today is the colored rain and power collab don't ask me what power is because i do not know it's a show on like showtime or stars or, or something like that i don't know what the show is but purple my favorite color i love my other colored rain palette the safari rain palette amazing and this one amazing that's what i have on today so it's colors are really pretty it's just the first time I've used it, so it's not a review. Just a little, you know, tidbit. And then on my lips, I have the Wet n Wild uh, Liquid Cat, Sh Cat Shoot. Liquid Cat Suit, the High Shine in Bud Romance from the Rebel Rose Collection. So, uh, let's see. We have the Brow Gal by Tanya Crooks. This is just one of the brow gels with the little small thing it actually dried out on me really really quickly I, I didn't use it like as soon as i got it in my boxy charm so that could be why and now they're selling uh, a brand at target called halos and arches i want to say and it's by this same girl tanya crooks and it's half the price of this one so if you like this one and we're like gonna buy it go to Target because it's the same thing. Yeah, I think it's called Halos and Arches, I think. But they do have it at Target, it's like $12.99. So I would get it from Target if you're wanting a repurchase. Uh, let's see, another mascara here. This is the Butter London Power Up Mascara. I used this for a little while, but the wand was really weird on it and if you can see it has a slight curve and then the product would stay gathered here in this part where there's not really too many bristles and it just got kind of clumpy and just wasn't my favorite so i used it for a while and i just thought you know what why are you using it if it's no good i'm not using it i have enough mascaras to last me forever so i'm like if i don't like something from now on it's just got to go it's just done uh, let's see, this was a sample. This is the L'Oreal Hydra Genius, um, just like a face moisturizer. It was a sample from somewhere. This was really nice. I do like this. If I see it and I'm in need of moisturizer, I would consider buying that. And then this was a Amore Pacific Vintage Single Extract Essence. It was in an Allure box. And it's such a tiny size that I mean, it's, you can't really tell much from this, and it was nothing that stood out to me as like amazing. And it's ex an expensive brand, I know that. It was just this little tiny, you know, bottle. So I couldn't tell much from that. So not something I would repurchase. Uh, this is the By Nature from New Zealand Moisture Replenishing Facial Serum with Rosehip Oil infused with hyaluronic acid, argan oil, and aloe vera, and collagen enriched. And I picked this up at uh, Marshall's. I got two of them, they were on clearance. They were the only two there. They were $2 and I like this. This was really a nice face serum and I wish I could find it again, but I haven't seen it again. But it was nice, if I run across it, I will definitely pick it up. Uh, look, uh, I finished up the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. 
it's empty. This was a really nice cream. Um, I used it at night. It's really moisturizing. It's quite thick. So if you have dry skin, you'll probably really, really love this. It is, however, quite expensive. I think this is $38 or $48. So not something that I would be willing to pay that for. Now, if it was on sale, it was half price, I might. But it's, it's a really nice, you know, cream. Then I have this little sample of the native deodorant. This is a natural deodorant. And it was fine, but it's expensive. It's like $12 for a deodorant. So... It was nice, it worked, it did its job, but I don't think I want to spend $12. So, like I said, if you have any recommendations, let me know. This was another product from BoxyCharm. This was the Billion Dollar Brows, and it's more of a, now it's empty, of the thicker, uh, you know, thicker brow pencil. It's not like the micro brow. And it was nice, I used it. it. It's a little bit harder to work with when you have the thicker tip. So it, it takes a little bit more, you know, putting it on, brushing it out, putting it on, brushing it out. But it was nice. If I could find it in a micro brow, I might try that. But I mean, not something I wanna spend $20 on. Then I had this Physician's Formula. This is their Eye Booster Eyeliner. And I don't even do uh, like, liner i went to i i gave it to my daughter and she's like it's dried out but it doesn't look like it's dried out does it so maybe she just didn't give it a good shake we'll put that to the side and see i don't wear like winged eyeliner or anything i can't do that <laughs> i'm not coordinated enough to, to do that uh let's see this is the derma e anti-wrinkle night serum with vitamin a and e i really like this and I got this at Marshall's too, and I've been on the lookout. I've been scanning the shelves, trying to see if I could find this again, because I am on the hunt for a night serum because I just finished up that second bottle of the turmeric and C. So I'm looking for a new one. Uh, this was just a sample of the Laneige Aqua Balm or Moisture Aqua Balm. This was really nice. It was just in a Allure box. Nice. Um, I would repurchase it, but I probably wouldn't repurchase it once I see the price because I'm sure it's quite expensive, but it is really nice. Then I finished up the Essence Eye Heart Color Intensifying Eyeshadow Base. Um, these are nice. They're cheap. They're $349 at Ulta Plus right now at Ulta. Buy one, get one 50% off. So nice little eye primer. I finished up the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This is, it's a nice mascara. It's good. It worked. If I could get it on sale, I might buy it, but I'm not a 20 some dollar a tube kind of mascara girl. I don't, I mean, my lashes are okay the way they are. I don't, you know, I just put mascara on and usually most mascaras will work for me. So I don't have, you know, that problem. Now, some people who they don't have, you know, as voluminous lashes or, you know, their lashes are short or sparse, probably really like this. And I could see if that were the case, wanting to spend that extra on mascara to get your lashes to look longer, bigger, more voluminous and all that. But for me, 20 some dollars is not where it's at. And then I had finished up a foundation. This is the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Foundation. This was called their Pure Brightening Serum Foundation. And um, this was okay. It did its job. It was a foundation. I liked it, but I have a lot of foundations. So I wouldn't really repurchase. I actually got this free from my daughter's best friend who used to work at Bare Minerals. So she always had, you know, stuff to give me. But I don't think I would buy it because there's a lot of drugstore foundations that I really like. I like the Flower Beauty Foundation and the Light Illusion Foundation. And today I just have on the um, Neutrogena Protectant Tint. It's like a, just a CC BB cream. I have it on with the elf jelly pop primer so i'm testing to see like what you know how it, it holds on to like a bb cream and then the last item here we have is this leave-in conditioner from way and it was nice but too expensive i got this in my little friend mailbox or my big friend mailbox that my friend Lori sent me and i mean this little box like 
bottle, I think like once or twice I used it and it's gone. So too expensive for all of this hair. So my friends, that is my trash. I hope that you enjoyed seeing and hearing what I thought about all of these. I love watching empties videos because you get quick rapid fire review on products. And sometimes we want to know, was it good? Would you repurchase it? Yes or no? So, uh, hey, my cat, of course, he's barfing up a fur ball. Thank you. So that is all of my trash. Um, I have picked up three samples of three new foundations from um, Sephora. I have the Fenty Hydrating Foundation. I have the Urban Decay Naked, is it Naked Foundation? And the ABH Luminous Foundation. So I have those three samples. And if there are any of the three that you're interested in seeing like uh, I don't know much, I mean, I can do like a couple days, you know, usually a sample is enough for two to three days for me. Um, if you'd be interested in seeing or you were wondering about any of those and you want my opinion, please let me know in the comments. I can do like a wear test with them if you wanna see that. If somebody else leaves a comment and you were like, oh yeah, I wanna see that one, thumbs it up and then I'll go by, you know, whichever one people were more interested in. If you're not interested, then that's okay too. Uh, I'll just use it on my own and see, I wanted to compare the three and see out of the three, which one I like the best because I do like a hydrating kind of glowy foundation. So that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you're new here, I hope you think about subscribing before you leave and make sure that you have the notification bell clicked so that you'll be notified of all of my new videos. And if you made it all the way to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are all having a beautiful day or night wherever you are, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys. Oh, they're barfing. Of course you are.